All right, this is our second grade math homework practice for lesson 1-5. We're just reviewing the lesson that we had earlier, counting on and counting back to subtract, okay? So here's another look. You can use a number line to count back to subtract. Find 12 minus 5, so we start here at 12, and we're subtracting 5 or going back 5 hops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? Start at 12 on the line, count back five moves. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. So we know that 12 minus five equals seven. Okay, count on or back to subtract. So you get to pick six minus four. I'm gonna start here at six, minus four. One, two, three, four. Puts us at a difference of two. 13 minus 8. I'm going to count backwards again on this one. 13 minus 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Puts me at 5. So I know that 13 minus 8 has a difference of 5. All right, again, feel free to pause the video as needed as you go through. Okay? All right, let's take a look at number 3 here. Marta has 15 dinner plates. I'm going to circle 15. She uses nine of them for a party. How many of Marta's plates are not used? Count on or back to solve. So she has 15 dinner plates. So I'm going to start here at 15. She uses nine of them. So I'm going to do nine hops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I end up at six. So there are six dinner plates that she did not use. Okay, this is our higher order thinking. Complete the squares so the differences shown on the outside are correct. So take a look at this. So we're gonna be doing differences, which means we are subtracting. Eight minus what equals three? I know eight minus five equals three. Now let's take a look at this. Something minus two equals five. Now what I can do is I can actually add back. Take a look at this. Three plus five is eight. Five plus two is seven. Now take a look at this. We're subtracting eight minus seven is one. Five minus two is three. Eight minus five is three. Seven minus two is five. Okay? Do you see the pattern how it works? So this time I went across this way. I'm gonna go up and down this way something minus nine equals nine. So I can add up if I want to. Nine plus nine equals 18, and 18 minus nine equals nine. Now let's take a look over here. Eight minus something equals six. Eight minus two equals six. And then we can check it this way also. 18 minus eight is 10, nine minus two is seven. Let's take a look at our assessment here. Pat has 12 flowers in his garden. Four flowers are pink and the rest are red. How many are red? We don't know. It's just the rest of them. So that's what we're gonna find out. How many flowers are red? Use the numbers on the cards to show how to count back to solve the problem. So we're counting back on this one. So it's just like we would do on a number line. So we're gonna begin with 12, okay? And then we're gonna count back 11, 10, 9, 8. So we know that eight flowers are red. Excellent job, everybody.